Yeah. Maybe I'm not reminded for this show. All right, here we go, everybody. Everyone getting notifications? I think we are live. All right, here we go, everybody. Oh, yes, yeah, someone's got someone's got the show on. <laughs> we are very live. It's always me. Yeah. It's always me. It's always right, me. Here we go, everybody. Oh, not me. me. <laughs> not me. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure it's not me. I just, it's I was, not me. It was me. Hello, oh, everybody in such yeah, It's not me. I'm muted. It's not the me. Mop. It Hold was on. the mop. It was my you shit week. You shit week. You shit week. Week. There we go. All right. So, hello, everybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Happy <laughs> Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm back. Yeah, Alfredo's back in the house. His wife didn't kill him, so that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got our guest, Tam Vapes, on this week. For those of you that may or may not know her, she goes by Tam Vapes pretty much everywhere, right, Tam? Oh, oh, oh. She's, she's trying to get it together there. <laughs> All right. All right, let me, let me give some shout outs out in chat. We've got Socrates out there, Raven Shadow, Joey. Indo to real MVP, Gareth, Alan Gorby's in the house. What's up, Alan? Vapex. I'm glad to see Vapex back out and about. See V Dogs out there. Uh, let's see who else we got out there. So uh yeah, Gareth, Sub Vapes. I think that's about it. We're, actually things are starting to come back. We actually got 20 people for a change. <laughs> Because summertime, I'm finding out that live shows on the weekend in the summer suck ass as far as analytics. But we have, we have fun, so screw it. Yeah, Jerry Lawrence is out there. What's up, Jerry? I saw Nikki was the first one in. Mark Sr., he was in earlier. Chuck Becker, Keith Black, David Osa. Hopefully, everyone's still hanging out. Mr. Burgundy's in the house. What's up, brother? How's everyone's week been? Good. Rough. <laughs> we're all they want to watch their show, then fuck them. Wow. We're, we're all That's bruised and, and battered this week, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to hear what I have to say about this week. Yeah. <laughs> well, some, we got some new stuff in, though. You got some new stuff in, right, Frank? Yeah, yeah I got the drop solo. Came in yesterday. Nice. I'm going to say the tracking's still showing it's somewhere between here and Greensboro, but. <laughs> I'd rather have it. I'd rather have the other way around, right? I'd rather yeah. have it in your hands and not be rather than exactly. where they say you delivered it and it's actually in Alberta. <laughs> yeah. But it's weird though. If I order from a door, Grant, she does the two day shipping. It goes from Detroit straight to Greensboro. Boom, call it a day. Yep. I order from my V Pro. It goes from Detroit to Indianapolis. To like Charlotte, to Greensboro, <laughs> to Poughkeepsie, to you yep. know Edmonton, <laughs> finally makes it. Finally makes it to my door. I'm like, what the fuck? There's stuff I can order from New Jersey, and I can send something to Alfredo, and he'll get it before I get it. Before oh, I yeah. got something that I've ordered in New Jersey, uh -huh. and, and and that's like we have ordered it, got it the same day, shipped at the same day. He's got it on Monday, and I don't get it till Wednesday. It's unbelievable. Jeez. Same method. Priority shipping, same story. It's pretty yeah. funny. Well, I'll give a quick quick synopsis, not a full review yet on this uh, drop solo. Do not use the coils that come with it. They are garbage. The package says a 0 0.2. Yeah, it's 0 0.2 if you're using a dual coil on a single coil device, or so really a 0 0.4, and it's so it must be canthos. And you're getting flavor, but you're not getting good flavor. But yep. easy to build on. I love this plastic cap. P T P whatever. Or whatever how they know. call it. Yeah. Yeah. I like how you can adjust the airflow. You can really I mean, I had to dial way down and was mouth the lung, pretty much mouth the lung in a really restricted lung hit. Yeah, you can do that's what I love about it. You can you can you can put a big build in there, a hot build in there, and open it up and get good flavor, or you can put a smaller build on there, dial it down. It's mm -hmm. great. I, I just think it's just a great little flavor RDA for the money. It is. And I, I like the fact they came, you know, comes with options and then yep. you get the tri tool, you get all the O rings. I mean, you get, you get a ton of stuff way better than what the original drop was. You know, and they, I mean, the original drop is awesome. It's, it's great. good. Yeah. But the O ring, let's say I got one, the ones on the, uh, on the pre-order, the black one with the shitty O rings. 
Me yeah, too. Yeah, I can't turn it. I can't even turn it. Yep. I ripped yep. the O-rings I basically out of it. Yep. Pretty much. Me too. I took them out. Are you yeah. talking about the original drop? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Because you can't take it off the top cap? Yeah, you take it off, you tear the O-rings because the O-rings are too fat. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering if I was the only one with that problem. Nope. Because I have to get John to take the top off for me because I can't get it off. He has to take your top off for you? <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, he does. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> well, I'm sure he doesn't complain about that. <clears throat> no, he don't. Yeah, Zippy's oh. out there. And hey, you Zippy. see, Moose is putting in the um in the chat. The poor kitty cat, little kitten, broke has a broken femur. There's a go uh, well, go get funding. I guess not necessarily GoFundMe. Yeah, some hearts out there for the little kitten. Little oh, kitty. If anybody can help, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, <laughs> show some love that way. If you're not a terrible person and you love animals, you'll. you'll <laughs> <laughs> the moose kicked the cat. Oh, the, the poor little kitty. Bobby yeah. didn't break his leg. We don't want to have to resort to Chinese food, okay? So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be discount Chinese food, though, because it's already broken. Right. Hey, Raven, how are you, hon? How's, how you doing, Raven? So, wait, so Tammy asked the question, how did it break its leg? We know. we have no clue. Oh. We have absolutely oh, no clue. Oh, there, it is. <laughs> there he is. Oh. <laughs> okay. A little shameless plug in here. <laughs> but yeah, we we she was at work and I we were outside for a, our landlord's daughter's son's birthday party and so we we're all outside having a good time and everything and I come inside and the cat comes walking out of a room just meowing. I'm like, what's up, dude? <laughs> and then, you know, it wouldn't let me touch its back leg. And then I saw it walk away and it's like limping. So I'm like, all right, something's clearly wrong with its back leg. We get the x-rays and all that stuff. And sure enough, it has a broken femur. So we don't know what to do with that other than get surgery or let him heal on his own. And if you let him heal on his own, it's a 50-50 chance. Yeah. Well, plus he may have, he may be all right now, but as he gets older, he's going to have complete. Right, exactly. It could heal on its own. And it, usually if it does, one leg kind of ends up being shorter than the Sorry, other. There's, yeah. yeah, there's some complications. And then if you do decide to fix it later, once the bone is healed, it's got, yeah, it's got more expensive and it's further complications because they have a lot more stuff to work around now. Yeah. Yep. So. yep, exactly. Besides that, I was in Mary Beth's neck of the woods Friday night. Yeah, and, uh, man, I'm pissed. Saw <laughs> Sylvan Esso and David uh, Byrne, and in case anyone's wondering, that man still has the best curtains. <laughs> and, and, dan wow, and dance curtains? moves. Yeah, his curtains were on fire. Like, <laughs> this dude had the best curtains uh, ever on stage. <laughs> There's people yeah. coming out of them and coming that look like exactly like him. So like the first person that walks out of the curtain behind him, like you're like, is that another David Byrne? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, he, it's like his whole stage thing. And he uses the curtains to kind of, I don't create. know. Yeah. Create what you're seeing and stuff. And man, they were the best one. Cool. <laughs> oh, I would have liked to have gone. Cool. I'm glad you went. Yeah, it was a good time. All right. Anything else? Everybody else doing all right? Anybody yeah, else get anything new? We're at the uh, Mesh Pro. Yeah. Which is the first sub up tank I've owned in a very long time. But it's not bad. You know, it's a sub up tank, so flavor is kind of shit. But actually not bad for most sub up tanks. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. And then you got to hit up Jesse's stuff oh, there. Oh, nice. Yes. And up 3D. Put it, put it, put it screw in. Look at like, you. You're so good. I have not got mine screwed in. These things are like pretty awesome, though. Cool. Like, mine are, if I flip mine upside down, they're all going to fall out because yeah. I didn't go through that. How much? How much was that one? This My pet. Yeah. Fourteen. Thirteen. Yeah, that was like thirteen bucks or something. 13, yeah, like, thirteen. What, nine? Yeah. I, I got. Like, go ahead, Alfredo. Go ahead. Reasonable price. Yeah. yeah. I got the um. The, Your thing was like, super quick, like, like yeah. I got the um, one that goes together, like so you. It like, looks like an S almost, and like it fits. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the wheel. yeah, I think that was like twenty bucks, maybe something. I, I need about ten more. 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Uh, I know, I know, totally, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, what did I get? I got a couple. I got some flavors in, a couple of things from Chef. I picked up some of the the Shin Dogs flavors, mm. um, and I mixed up oh, his nice. some of those. I mixed up his mint cookies and cream. Eight yeah. percent. Now you're getting your money's worth. Eight percent of flavor in there, right? So good. So good. I, I got to tell you, I, I'm like trying to figure out what's in there. I'm like, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to, I'm going to figure it out, you dog. That's really good. I, you know, really, truly, really good. He's like, good luck. <laughs> yeah. He's like, <laughs> you have fun with that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So if you're ordering, if you're ordering from chefs, it's worth, I think, picking up. I think it's a, a great, a great flavor. If you like mint, because you, you do get mint. It's not a lot of mint. It's not in your face mint, but it's mint and it's nice. Oh, and I got a patching line too. I picked up. Um, oh, you got John Carlo's new new. John Carlo's new oh, new, and that you gotta like cream de mint because that's yeah, what that's what I've heard. It's a creamy, nice cream de mint, but you better like it because that's what you're getting. Wow. And I love I love mint. I'm all about it, but mm-hmm. but it's good. I'm gonna show Joey my handmade mod sand so she can. She's talking about single mods. Um, single moms single don't mods. need any stains. Yeah. So this is a piece of wood that I drilled holes in. Let me dump them out. Only one of them. Well, one of them is kind of tight. Like it has holes in it. And you can like just put the little five tens down in the holes. Mm-hmm. And you have a nice little place to put them. No, it yep. doesn't have the cute little things to like screw them in all the way. But at least you have a place to put them. So single moms can DIY that. That's there you right. go. <laughs> there you go, single mom. So there you go. Get out that drill, Joey. I know you can do it. I, I've seen I, what you can do. I did that do myself. <laughs> I did that. So if I can do it, Joey can do it. I know okay. it. All right. Yeah. yeah, Philly vapes in the house. We got uh, Black Cat White Face. What's up, Scott? Oh. Is Natty King? Alan Gray. Hi, hi, yeah. hey, Alan. Yeah, 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 Alan. All right. Yep. Yeah, there's tender foods there. <laughs> they are nice, but oh, they're pricey. You keep, keep dreaming, Shindo. It'll happen. You can be anything you want to be. That's right. Wait, what did Shindo say? What is he saying? You can it's be the a real MVP, MVP if you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Vape is talking about a tenderfoot stand. I don't yeah. have one of those, but you can DIY that. <laughs> <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Look, this is a f- eight by ten photo piece of wood from walmart that um i painted black and i put a 510 um thing in the middle drilled it in the middle and this is what i build my things on right here cool diy right here all the way there you go tenderfoot right here (laughs) tam's tenderfoot (laughs) tenderfoot that's great yeah Yeah, philly Philly vape had a question about a vape trains uh coffee base Oh, and do they actually have a, is there, they have one that's just called coffee base or is it, yeah, or are you do. talking like their Arabica coffee or whichever? No, they have a coffee base. Oh, oh I okay. didn't know that. They really, they it's do. called coffee base. Yes, they do. It's called coffee base. That's the thing about vape chain. They got like five different mm-hmm. things and you're like, is it really oh, different or yeah. is it just different? Or is it name? just a different name? Yeah. Like the pudding you're base, like, like, name is <laughs> vanilla pudding or. I don't know. And their they're pudding coffee. base is good. I do like yeah. that. The, and their the, coffees are good. Their coffees are good. So I, I would put like their I, alcohol and their coffees are pretty solid. So I haven't played with it yet. I mean, I got it like a couple weeks ago and I have so many things I've been playing with and I haven't. Got. So I'm sorry. I can't help. Nice. He's yeah. like, damn it. Six people in that room and not one of them can tell I me know. about <laughs> coffees. <laughs> Where but, you know, Shindo? I'll get to it and I'll let you know this afternoon. He's <laughs> probably like, put Shindo up there. He, he'll know what the hell to answer that Yeah, question. maybe Shindo has. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, where's concrete? Put it on concrete's pole. Po- co- not that go. pole. Not that pole. The other pole. He has the pole on his website talking about. Um, oh, he has another pole? <laughs> he has a pole about what flavors you want to see him do. Yeah, he's bipolar. <laughs> no. We all are, I think. Yeah, we have our days. Mm-hmm. And all the single moms on Concrete's pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. There, it's been said. All right, yeah. we just went so we just went sideways real fast. What yeah. two seventeen? <laughs> seventeen minutes in. <laughs> we may have to have we may have to have uh, 
Addy Tooney come in and monitor this show too. Now. Uh, you know, he'll be just going. <laughs> yeah, he'll be doing. Usually, I'm the one that has to sort of. Yeah. Okay. He's uh, Philly says he mixed it at three percent, and he thinks he needs to raise it to five or six because he's trying to make a good French vanilla coffee. I don't know about going that high with it because it may mute it. I mean, there's a, a lot of vape train stuff. You, you usually that three to four percent is. You know your your sweet spot. You start getting higher, and you're just wasting concentrating. It may you know double back on itself. Yeah, I agree with you, Frank. Usually two to four, but he's got nothing to lose. I'd yeah. flavor test it. Flavor test it, you know, high and see what you're getting. Yeah, single he's flavor, do like five lose. or six. Yeah, do like a little ten mil sample. You know, do it. You know, off the shake in a couple days and stuff like that. You at least you'll have an idea. I mean, he's trying to get that Dunkin' French vanilla coffee, extra cream, extra sugar. Oh, coffees are hard. Yeah. Although, but their coffees are very usable. Wonder Flavors has a Brazilian coffee that I think is very good. Inawera has a coffee that's a little dry and a little bitter, more, but still pretty good. Doesn't have that rubber, doesn't have a long. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll tell you. Go ahead. I'm used to Flavor Arts uh, espresso bean. Espresso bean one. Yeah. That's what I'm used to. And that's my go-to coffee. Um, I put a base. I make a base. And I just, all right, I want some caramel. I want some this. So I just add to that base. And it comes out pretty good. Um, what cream What cream do you use in yours, Alfredo? TFA. Sweet cream? Sweet cream. Okay. And uh, that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, you could probably add some French vanilla cream and a little bit of the sweet cream and maybe a little caramel. I've even yeah. added um <laughs> I've even added the leche to it and it's really good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Here's an interesting note on ELR that Leilani put in. And I'm not sure if she wrote this herself. This doesn't look like her no- typical notes. It says a rich coffee bean flavor. This is for coffee base from mm-hmm. Vape Train. Sounds like um, it's, it's um, perfect ingredient for building foundation for any e-liquid recipe that contains a coffee note taste. Works best in a mix such as tiramisu, coffee cakes. Oh, that sounds nice. To creamy dessert yeah. and beverage style e-liquids. Oh, this came from the Vape Train website. She yeah, that's what I was going to say. Now. That's what that sounds like. That doesn't Great. sound like two to five percent in a mix, standalone five to eight percent. Yeah, five to eight. So you may need to boost yeah. that up. Uh, yeah. Standalone, right. but two to five. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's. Uh... Yeah, uh, concrete on his website, the taste of concrete.com. He's uh, doing all the vape train stuff. So, yeah, he's doing a great job, man. I, I've been enjoying yeah, those awesome. a lot. I've been enjoying them a lot, actually. Mm-mm. So okay. shout out to concrete. Shout yeah. out. Exactly. He's doing, he's doing good work. He always, he's, he always does good work. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to get drunk off of vape, uh, you follow concrete river because he <laughs> is, you know, he's the expert when it comes yeah. to boozy flavors out there. I think mm-hmm. if he doesn't have all of them, he probably has most of them. The hey, ones he doesn't have are probably garbage. Hey James. Yeah. Buick's right. in the house. So, yeah. so the fog vlog out there, they check them out. They did a, uh, an interesting review on a uh, mop head, uh, earlier this week and uh it's it's a it's a good video check it out who is this the fog blog there are a couple guys from over in the uk and oh yeah. those guys yeah. yes yeah welcome guys hope you like our show awesome all right so who wants to hit it up first all right well i'll, I'll go ahead i'll just jump right into it let me pull mine up here Wants to go before Mary Beth does. What was that? I said he's just trying to go before Mary Beth. Because <laughs> <laughs> somehow, was, magically, we basically came up with a very similar recipe. Well, if you let's say if you take my two recipes that I did and you combine them and throw some cranberry, we almost have the same recipe. <laughs> you know, Jersey minds think alike. Mm-hmm. There, here we go. Let me pull this up. This one is like an Arnold Palmer with some extra fruit. Real quick, easy, you know, five flavors, uh, super low percentages. Oh, nice. Arnie's nice. Fruit butter. <laughs> <laughs> I like that name. Cool. That's awesome. 
Yeah, so you know, berry blend. I I, these flavors, I could probably bump this up because it is a little on the weak side, but I, was, I want to try it in a different build before I adjust anything. Because, you know, as we know, flavor, you know, you, you can go low and you can come out really nice. You know, the berry blend is one of my favorites from Flavora. You know, you have, you know, it's just it's what it is, a combination of different types of berries, and they all blend together well. You know, boysenberry is a little accent just to, you know, boost everything up, a little supporting character. Uh, the lemon tea, you know, basically, you know, you're going to have an arm palm, you're going to have sweet tea and lemonade. So you throw the lemonade, you know, the lemon tea and the lemonade, you know, and uh, throw some, a little bit of white peach and, Call it a day, nice and easy. I'm saying I've been vaping it since yesterday when I mixed it and threw it right in the squonker. I, I was that confident with it, so it's not oh, bad. I want to try that. That looks really nice. It looks good. So, so like the lemon tea by Flavora. So, tell me about that, Frank, because I I don't have it, nor do I. I don't know what that's like. It's it's just like a nest tea, you know, like the Is ones it? you buy in the store. Like what are they called? What they oh, used to call them ones? The nest tea splash or whatever. Not the splash. Uh, the, yeah, the I know. Like the 75 cent cans that you get yep. in 7-Eleven? Yep. The Lipton, the little Lipton. Yeah. Yep, I know exactly what you're that's, talking that's about. That's basically the, that, just a plain one. That's what you get. Huh. They might that's have a little good. EM in it because there is a sweet note to it. Because I was gonna, I was just going to ask you that. Does it need a little sweetener? No, it doesn't need it because it has some. I think there's already a little bit of sweetness already in it, in the flavor. Okay. Yeah, this, I mean, no sweetener. I mean, obviously, if you want to be, you know, if you want to be like Wayne, you throw, you know, half percent super sweet in it and call it a day, but it's not necessary in this mix. I mean, it's it's good the way it is. And okay. You, and you could throw other fruits in there if you want to throw some melon or something like that, just to, but that lemon, if you want to do like a half and half, you know, to, you know, to Arnold Palmer, then you, you know, that lemon tea and that lemonade, I, I think, then throw whatever or just run it straight like that, just lemon tea and lemonade if you don't want the fruit. Honored Palmer needs at least 3% caps to <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, you want to you wanna yeah, stuff? Yeah, stuff, yep, exactly. That stuff has an amazing amount of sugar in it. Oh, yeah. What about the berry blend? Like, how does that compare to, like, like forest fruit and some of the like harvest berry and like those happy berry blends. Like, do you get more of a, like a bright red or do you get kind of just a mix? I, I get more, it's, it's kind of a mix. I mean, you get, I mean, like I have the, uh, was the forest mix from uh, flavor art. I think that one you yeah. get more of a red, but uh, mm -hmm. the berry blend, I think you get, you get a little bit of everything. Okay, cool. The reason I don't like the, the forest and the harvest is because that that really annoying raspberry just really wants to sit at the top there. Yeah, but, and that's, but that's what it is to me. It's not a berry mixture. It's a raspberry front with some other stuff going on in the back. Yeah, but if somebody wanted, that's a good thing to know, though, right? So, right, like, yeah, if someone's yeah. if someone's looking to develop more of a berry raspberry profile, then that's a good thing to know that that raspberry will sit on top. So that's yeah. kind of good. That's good information. So that's what you say you're getting out of the berry blend. Yeah. That's yeah. what I get. I mean, I, I don't think you get, uh, you know, it's not raspberry heavy like a lot of them are. I think it's more just a, just a mixed berry flavor. I mean, you're not really getting, you know, one over the other. You're not getting a heavy strawberry or a heavy grape or a blueberry or something. Cool. Yeah. Any kind of part though, like I don't know, it just felt like really bland to me when I tried it. But I guess when you put in that boysenberry, that'll that'll definitely help that out. Yeah, like, that's that's you know, it balance it up like blueberry. Honestly, I was kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> <That> <laughs> I mean, lemon's probably boosting it a bit. Yeah, yeah. I need that. I need that tart now, man. If I'm gonna do any kind of berry mix or something, I need, I need to pucker up. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. All right, so let's see. Shindo had said something. Uh, yeah, he, he just uses it to kind of to kind of balance things like uh, like the bilberry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Cincinnati Kings looking for something to support flavor West blackberry besides flavor boysenberry. Uh, use a bilberry or shine blackberry. I really haven't messed with blackberry. Strawberry. Yeah. That makes sense. Strawberry kind of like if you want like a depth more depthier blackberry that's a, and a less 
brighter, the strawberry will kind of darken it down a bit. Yeah, not so strawberry, right? Like because that's too creamy. Right? No, yeah. just, but if you use like t- just regular CFA strawberry or uh, juicy strawberry, something like that, I, yeah, it was, they're not as sweet. I like what red touch does does to blackberry. I yeah, you start getting a jam note though a little bit, or like a syrupy note though with the red touch, in my opinion. Point, like, yeah, but I like point five. You mm, won't. Yeah. It's just a red touch on there, so yeah. it's, it's kind of deepening it a bit. That works. Go one point five, then you'll start getting the jamminess a bit more. Yeah. What's up, Josh? Good seeing you. One of the best mixers that com- comes out of the state of Indiana, right there, Saturation Station. What's up, brother? Hey. Welcome. All right, so I'm going to pop mine up. <clears throat> um, All right, so here's mine. It's a um, it's called Rock and Chair Ice Tea. So this is kind of something that I like was thinking about like in the summers we used to go visit my grandparents and they lived in North Carolina and they had like a, a small farm and they had a, a grove of peach trees. So at the end of the day, we could go and pick whatever kind of fruit we wanted and we would use it to make our tea for, for dinner. And so this was kind of like my rendition of that. Um, so I used um, Flavora black tea, which I absolutely, I love Flavora teas. I think they're nearly impossibly hard to beat in general, um, besides the, the naturally extracted teas that Six Mix does, which I think are absolutely gorgeous. But mm-hmm. um, these are just easy to work with. They, they stand up in the mix. You know, I just enjoy them. So this is the, it has the Flavora black tea does have some of that tannic note that you want with that little bit of dryness. You know, it's not quite as earthy and dark as F.A. black tea, which can sometimes be a little difficult if you're looking for a lighter fruit or tea. Like that might work nicer, like in the chai tea where you're looking for some more like a chai mix where you're looking for a little deeper note. This will this will be a little bit easier to work with, I think, for a lighter a fruit tea or a, fru- a floral tea. Um, I use, I like white peach and juicy peach for my peach. And I usually kind of use it in the three to one kind of ratio in general. Um, and I wanted to add a little brightness, a little acidity to that. And so I use the cranberry and blood orange. I like blood orange because it is a deeper, sweeter. I find it to be deeper and sweeter, um, and worked well with the black tea as opposed to like a royal orange or another orange that's a little bit more top note and a little bit brighter. I didn't want to go that far. Flavora milk and honey, I just love, um, not because there's milk in the milk and honey, but because it adds a dark sweetness that also gives some body to your vape, like, um, and it's a little thickness, like mouthfeel, which is what I want. And honey is hard to work with. Like if I could find a real true good dark honey, that'd be perfect. But milk and honey kind of serves the purpose. So sweetener, add it to your taste. I like my tea vape sweet, so I added it. I also like a little bit of mint and cooling. So I used VT Sorbet, um, which also has a little bit of a citrus note, which actually helps here with this, with this uh, recipe. So that's, uh, that's what I got. So it's black tea at 1.2%, blood orange at one, cranberry at one, juicy at 3.5, milk and honey at 2.5, white peach at 1.5, and sorbet base at 0.5. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I don't have the sorbet, but I think I have just about everything. Up. Well, I, I use Flavora Blood Orange in my other mix. I love Blood Orange. It's like one of my favorites. Someone it, trying to make like an orange pico type of tea, you know, use the black tea and a little bit of lemon tea yep. and put the milk and honey and the blood orange in there. Try to make like a morning cup of tea that I used to get forced down my throat. Because <laughs> my yeah. mother being Canadian, you got toast and tea. That was breakfast. Yep. Here's two, here, wow. here's, here, here's two pieces of toast with margarine here. And, you know, here's your cup of tea, you know, with a little bit of milk and, and get the hell out the door. All right. I'll go. Wait, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, but I'll go. So, want. okay, cool. Oh, go ahead. Talk about no, it. No, 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 there's nothing else I wanted to say. I just want to see if anybody had any thoughts about what they would change or do differently or oh. make what, what anybody might, you know, um, I think it looks great, but I know you talked about um, using some of the um, honeybee. Yeah. Um, yep. So I was just wondering how that didn't work in this, or you like? I use it. I used it in the, the next mix I'm going to show. Oh my bad. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That yeah. Worked. 
Okay, it I see. worked beautifully in there. Got it you. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, Tam. Perfect. Oh no, it's okay. I just I didn't, I didn't see two uh, percent Bavarian cream or Flavora cream in there, so I have nothing to say about that recipe. <laughs> 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 yeah. Sorry, there, Moose. I know we're hurt, <laughs> we're hurting the mu the Moose's uh, subtle t taste buds. <laughs> well, no, we can do tea teas any day. We're just gonna have to add some creams to it and less. But you know, fruits. it's interesting because I am not a tea drinker at all. And so um it was really interesting for me. Um I'm not really a tea drinker either, and when I do, it's usually just straight, like nothing in it. I I like the taste of just tea by itself. But however, green tea uh rappies or whatever the hell they are or green tea like milk froth like latte kind of style those are pretty yeah. damn good yeah oh look at you expanding your your palate i'm glad to hear it all right sorry okay. go ahead so are we re okay so do you see mine yes mm -hmm. yeah you're good. good okay good 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 okay so mine is called i'll be your honeybee <laughs> <laughs> and of course that's from Garth Brooks song and I can't remember the name of the song but it was just a cute little swing off of honeybees in this and um but this is a honey ginger green tea and I use one percent flavora ginger peach which of course has the ginger mixed with the peach and <laughs> half percent flavora honeybee which is just a really nice light honey and it's got a floral note to it um and if you ask me what the floral note is i have no idea what the floral note is um because i don't know but i could probably look it up and find it find it for you <laughs> most very... don't care to know what the floral note is a really is. nice floral note that goes really nice in this with everything so then I use Jungle Flavors Honey Peach with it um, to kind of accent the peach a little bit more at one and a half percent. And that can kind of be, if you wanted to mix it, um, it can be played with if you wanted a little bit higher. Like I did go 2% one time and I got more of a throat hit with that honey peach. So I went down to one and then I got no taste. So with the peach, so I wanted a little bit more. So that's one, one and a half percent was kind of the sweet spot with the jungle flavors. Honey peach, which I love that flavor. Um, and interesting, I used a Mullenberry natural green tea with this. Um, and it is a wonderful green tea. It is very, when you think of some of the other green teas, um, they have like some, you know, floral notes to them or just like, I don't even know how to explain it good. I'm sorry. Like off notes and floral notes, really strong. And this one's like a green tea they took and just strained all those notes out. It's just a nice green tea, a good base for a green tea. So it's really lovely taste to add those flavors to. So I mixed this and I was like in love. I'm like, oh my gosh, I could vape this all day. And I'm not one to drink tea. Like I said, I don't drink um, so I really enjoy this recipe. I mean, you could add a little bit of sweetener to it if you wanted to, but I don't feel it needs it with the honey in it and the ginger and stuff like that. It just is. So like one, of, is. one of the flavors, Tammy, I wanted to get is the ginger peach. Mm -hmm. I don't have it, but, but I'm kind of curious, like how does, is, is the ginger noticeable in this? Like, do you actually, like, would I just be better off using ginger separately and peach separately? Um, I don't, I think it's good together. I mean, you could try it, but I think the ginger by itself is going to be too. Do you get ginger though? I guess that's what I'm asking. Can, can, does the ginger peach, do you get a ginger note? Yes. Okay, cool. Cause that, I cause that's nice. I mean, it helps you consolidate your flavors, right? So that's always a good thing, mm -hmm. but I just want to be sure that I still get ginger. Cause that's cool. All right, cool. Like the okay, let me... because it's not too like it's not too sharp of a ginger you know or or it just yeah. it just mends well into the rest yeah. like into recipe all right. all right cool put it on the list 
Bryson, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mop will see him next week in uh, Ontario, so put the good oh, word you're in. you're going to Mop Head? Son yeah, of a gun. Nice. Yeah, you can see on Sunday. Let me know. Yeah. Like, just let him know that we're, we're all seriously lacking flavor or flavors. <laughs> Except for Frank. Yeah, I got hooked up with. The- <laughs> we won't talk. We won't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> no, cool, man. That looks like a really lovely and beautiful mix. Thank I really, I need yeah. the honey. I need the honey ginger to give it a whirl, though. Now, how earthy is that green tea from uh, Mullenberry? Earthy? Is it earthy at all, or is it more is it like? like a- no, it's not like flavor because I've tasted flavoras and it is. It's very earthy. Like it does not go in creams. Like mm-hmm. I tried. Um, Flavoris messed up and did try to do a, a ice cream, and I was like, "Oh no, no, no! This isn't gonna oh, work." No, no, it's not at all. It's just a regular green tea. I mean, okay. I can't even explain it good enough. It's just a green tea. Like, there's no florals, there's no earthiness, there's no nothing. And like Flavor Express, you know, have you tried that one? I haven't. Flavor no. Express. No. I'm, okay, that's very got some floral notes in it and something else that makes it mop head you know what's in it yeah yeah it's not uh, earthy though like like no the it's not earthy head. it's more of a almost a coolant type not it's not a coolant taste but it's uh, a there's brighter something flavor in it. yes but it's a, more off notes like you could use it in creams and sherbets and ice creams and things like that very well um, but this one is just plain tea. It's just green tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pick that one up. Yeah. Hello, yeah. John Carlo. John Carlo's yeah. in the house. Hello. Go check out that Apache line, the new new from over there, omegatingeliquid.com. All right. Next batter. I got a shit show to pop up. My recipe. What? I got some older recipes that are good, but this one. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and pop them up, man. People need to like people learn. Yeah, I'll pop up my other ones Here's later. Um, but this is the one I actually mixed up for the show, and there's some good things about it, and there's some things that didn't quite work out how I was hoping. So for the tea, I went with a mixture of favora. I wanted like more of a green tea, so I used the Flavor Express green tea, and then I matched it with the favora red tea because, like we were saying, I, I didn't want to use the favora green tea and get that dirt kind of t- which is good like if that's what you're going for but yeah that's really yeah. what I was going for so I went with the red tea you know it's still like it's got a lot of floral notes but it's not and it's a little fruity you know but it, it doesn't have those earthy notes like the green tea um so actually the tea combination wasn't too bad and then I was going for like kind of a blueberry melon and and then so like I was like okay if I'm gonna put melon in it I don't want it to be too dry so like so I tried to use a little in a wear a pear to kind of um I juice it up a little bit and mm-hmm. I think pear kind of ruined my blueberry because I know the blueberry and quince together the quince is a great like if you want to really really boost up your blueberries quince uh tfa quince quarter percent is all you need it really helps out your blueberries but I think that pear kind of like buried my blueberries and then the melon just kind of the texture of the of the wild melon just didn't quite uh yeah, match yeah. up with the tea so well yep, so. yep. It's, yep. it's all right, but it's not something I mix or even post. So, 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 just like a, a, a you know me, I always have to have questions. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. what I'm <laughs> so the questions are good. The red tea and the green tea, like what, like that combination, like what did it end up giving you? Like more sweetness? Do you think? Yeah. So it just kind of like, so you still got the floral notes from like kind of the green tea, and the red tea just kind of helped boost up I guess that kind of tea flavor and then like I said kind of like brought you into starting the the fruit notes yeah exactly cool you know? okay that's a good thing to know so yeah, yeah I like that okay cool oh so, I think I'm, I'm, I'm surprised the pear did that to the vaping swag blueberry because that's basically one of the best that's what I oh I love vaping swag blueberry. and I was like it'll hold up and then I don't know man I didn't wear a pear just, just fucking buried it somehow I guess just something you think, you think it was a different pear uh, may, well, I just used the pear to try and get the juice because they don't wear pear is super juicy. It's kind of like their cactus, but without that, like, distinct yep. you know, oh, yep. like pear taste. So, like, that's kind of why I went with it. But it just it just didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. I probably should have just left it out. And, uh, you should do apricot because apricot pears with blueberry already. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Like That's that a one. really good thought, Moose. I don't know, like, maybe a little flavor of Armenia in there. Yeah, and I think I had too many kind of like sweet fruits kind yep. of instead of, yeah, and honestly, quince and pear are kind of similar. So that, I use them super low, but it's still something just didn't quite, something buried that blueberry just completely. Couldn't even be that, that wild melon. I, I don't have it, but I know it's a it, wild, yeah. strong animal there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one and a half, maybe if you would knock that down, maybe. A moose, a oh, moose. Yeah. And moose. Cut that down if anybody wanted to try yeah. I, I recognize a strong animal when I see one, okay? <laughs> so, Shindo has a, a request. He wants you to fix your ESMR signage there. It's too stretched out. <laughs> it, it offends him visually. It's a, He's being offended. <laughs> it's offending. <laughs> oh, it's on your own. Uh, what is it on? Visually offended someone on this show. I can actually <laughs> quit now. <laughs> You're good? You can leave now? Okay. We can um, go into bigger and better things. All right. So who do we have left? We will lose half the chat probably. <laughs> Wait, he wants to know. Someone wants to know what TP, TFA sweet tea is like. It's Can good, but it's you? weak as fuck. So mm -hmm. Be ready for that weakness. But if you're oh, if you're just wanting to get by with a cheap sweet tea, go right ahead. Yep, and boost it, boost it up. Boost yeah, it. find other things to play with. It. Like it's a pretty blank can canvas on a sweet tea, but it, like it's. Pretty weak, and it might disappear on you in in, yeah. in recipes. Yep, agreed. And I'm hearing uh, Shindo and uh, Graham are both saying about the Losi's iced tea is supposed to be really good. Into the I haven't. Yeah, but you could use it, and ain't nobody else gonna be able to use it. That, and there, and there, and lies the rub. Yeah, so the Losi is kind of a pain in the ass to buy unless you go to. Right. Vapor supply. Right. So, well, you can buy it well, right from your website. Like, too, but. Yeah, that's but that's a pain in the ass when you want to just stick to Bull City and like you know. Well, that's you're, like Mulberry. I have to go to DIY Vapor Supply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is it's okay because good. they have enough stuff that you can make mm -hmm. a worthy order out of that. Like yes. they carry, oh, you know, one on one and stuff. They carry oh, some. Yeah. Always has carry some food. unheard of flavor art things, some Inawera things. Like there's some things in there that you could make a make it worth going to DIY Vapor Supply strictly for. Like yeah, Joey, e I treat eSig Express as all of the flavor art things that Bull City won't carry. Yeah, or can't yeah. carry. Sorry, I won't say won't. I, and I'm sure you guys would love to carry those flavors. But yeah, yeah. Awesome um, shit. <laughs> so Joey had a question about Flavora. Um, you mean SIE? Tea? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't have that one. Every time I have, I have it, one, every time I have I it, but I haven't used it. It's out of stock. I, I, I've used it. Moose, mm -hmm. I thought you used it too. Did you use it? Moose? I don't have any of the flavor teas. Oh, Bryson. Bryson, um, Bryson I don't have any of the flavor teas. Get the, get the chopstick going and then go <laughs> hit up Bryson and be like, hey, man, I need. Some of those so, Joey, I think Mophead did a review. Did you do a review of it? Yeah, I yeah. Really he, he did a review on, on his channel, but yeah. it's like maca tea, ma matcha tea. It's mm -hmm. a green tea, but it has more of a body, a little bit sweeter, not so vegetal, and has a little more of the fruity notes to it. Like, so if you're doing like a maca, a matcha tea kind of mix thing, then that's, I think, the closest that I've seen of that flavora line of teas that they had. So that's more like a green tea or. Yeah, it's, a, it's it goes to the green side of things. What, 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 what do you think, Mophead? It's really floral, though. Like, oh, yeah. like their green tea oh. is pretty or, or a side. I don't know how to say it. Not very cool. <laughs> like we're saying, there, there's a lot of different. I think I called it like a white tea because I just like it. Kind of, I knew what I was talking about. When I was <laughs> Vaping trucker made it into the show. What's up? What's up there, Mike? Oh, yeah, he's been, he's been yeah. But there's uh, a there's a lot of difference between green tea and matcha style green uh, tea. See, matcha is very matcha. heavy on when the earth. I like, look online, they kind of have them together sometimes on Google, you know? Yeah. So that's fine. They're, I'm they, not they an expert on tea, so that's fine. What, what was that, Moose? We we were all talking I'm over sorry. you. I'm sorry. The, Go ahead. The Moose. teas, like the there being a difference in the in the green teas, like there's a lot of, like depending on where it's grown to, um, the green tea can taste differently. But yep. matcha style green tea and then green tea, 
pretty much, you know, they're supposed to be very different things. Some people don't always do that because they don't care. <laughs> but matcha should be pretty earthy and stuff. And, and creamy and have a density. To yeah, it's got its own kind of creamy so to it. That's why when you're looking for like a, a green tea latte kind of thing, that's why that tea would be more beneficial theoretically. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I can say I necessarily got that out of it, but I've only made like two mixes with it and single flavored it. So I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of experience with it, but yeah. All yeah, right. Sub Babes has a good question. How do you overcome the dryness of teas of fruits and creams? Yeah. Creams. That's all, that's what I was going to say with that one. Instead of using anywhere apparel, I wish I would have just thrown a little cream in there. If you throw a little bit of cream, not enough to make it creamy, but a little bit, yeah, it'll, it'll definitely work. Uh, to, to help with the wetness, to make them not so dry, Flavora Cream, FA Cream Fresh, or TPA Whipped Cream. They all contain a triacetin or something, something that will uh, give you that mouthfeel of creaminess or something or, or wetness, but not add a vanilla or like any other, you know, notes and stuff. So you can use those to kind of trick yourself into thinking they're less dry. The thing is though, tea is, I mean, when you drink tea, tea has that tannic. Yeah, yeah, it should. That's gonna should dry be your mouth, yeah. you know? So it's sort of inherent in it. Like, I mean, it sort of uh, makes it authentic. If uh, it helps, if it helps anyone, um, Flavor Express's green tea has this wet taste to it already like it doesn't taste like doesn't taste like green tea powder or like just the leaves or anything it does taste like you're vaping a glass of green tea i don't know like it's got a wetness to it <laughs> by itself too like when you're vaping it by itself you you like it i don't know it's like water hits your mouth first and then it's the green tea that's what i get from that one of the best names on youtube right there vape ross vape <laughs> <laughs> moose did you share one yet hun i mean we have already before yeah but <laughs> go ahead yeah but pop it up and and because i want people to understand about like the different teas and how you're using them and i think it's useful information so you want to see how you can use Bavarian cream in a tea <laughs> wait, 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 this one doesn't have it, so eat shit. <laughs> uh, it does have Wu Tang in it, though, flavor of cream. So, um, this is uh, just a green tea ice cream pocky deal. Um, it was inspired by Exclusive Girl and ID10 Tea, so shout out to them for their work on their recipes for this. Uh, but it basically takes kind of uh, ID10 teas longing that the ice cream base that's in that and the usage of Flavora's green tea and the sugar cookie at this, like pretty much the same percentages that Exclusive Girl used in her green tea Kit Kat, which are both very awesome recipes and I highly recommend you check them out. Um, it's another great use of the Flavor Express green tea as well. Um, cause it, like I said, it's got this wet note to it. So there's actually like things you'll, you might want to find to dry it up a bit. Um, cause some people are looking for more of that powdery matcha style dryness that you would get from a green tea. And you can do that with various things, sugar cookie being one of them. Um, we all know Capella's sugar cookie is kind of dry on its own. So when you're throwing it in there with ice creams and stuff you get some grittiness and a little bit of dryness to kind of calm that wet stuff down a bit. Um, oh, that's, that's cool, man. That's really smart. Yeah, Absolutely. But it's, it's a nice it's playful good. recipe. And it, when I made it too, um, the first thing I was reminded about was like, if anyone's had Jazzy Boba or any of the Boba lines that were, there were an old, old school and like i guess another company copied them so apparently there was big confusion on who was the real company but they had a boba line that was jazzy boba like a jasmine green tea which i can't figure out what they used unless they used flavor art jasmine um 
but that shit's kind of weird and doesn't steep out nicely to you. Um, but they were, they were a pretty good juice company. If you could get past the fact that they probably put 12% sweetener in all of it. Um, but they made a mango boba and a jazzy boba and then another a honeydew honeydew boba. I think Wayne has tried to uh, clone that several times too. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. But this reminds me of that a bit without that like jasmine note. So yeah, cool man, cool. I really like that. I really, I really like your mixes. I hate to say this, but <laughs> I hate to. Fun. I hate to I admit like, it, but I like to keep them fun and kind of hate, nostalgic. I hate in saying it out loud, I hate it. No, no, Bless really. Your heart, Mary Beth. <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> Bless your dark, evil, little withered heart. That's right. <laughs> you may not like how I mix, but God damn, it'll taste good. <laughs> yep. Yep. Pretty much. I think I threw her off guard. <laughs> Well, thanks for the compliment there, John Carlo. Coming from you, yeah. that means a ton. Seriously. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Said, what did you say? Everyone on the panel, kudos for doing live shows like this. This is exactly what the vape community needs, in my opinion. Aww. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna tell him bless his heart. <laughs> You're not gonna tell him bless his heart. <laughs> no, don't. We're doing all the southern sweet tea. Now. That's an insult. <laughs> tell somebody. Yeah, oh, exactly. I, that. Exactly. I thought I was getting complimented, then I realized that they were basically just another way of calling me an asshole. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I don't, exactly. I don't have another recipe, but I do have a recipe idea that I've been trying to do, but I don't have the one ingredient that I think I need. Um, it, I'm hoping it's Flavora's black tea. If so if anyone knows that, I mean, I think Mary Beth or was it Tam that used it? I used it. And okay. I have a mix I'm playing with. Oh, yeah. What, what about, what are you looking about? What are you looking so at? You already have, uh, you already have boysenberry, I assume, right? Me? Yeah. Yeah. By who? I Which do. company? Flavora. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, this could be an all Flavora recipe, but I, I'm looking to make a black tea boysenberry, uh, like boba or like a, you know, Ooh. cream style tea. So Ooh. you would take the black tea, the boysenberry, figure out your percentages. I'm not going to do that for you. <laughs> and then the cream, obviously, you know, work around that. But that's that's apparently a, a popular boba tea oh, cool. is, is black tea and boysenberry. Cool. Yeah. Very, 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 very good combination. I'm a uh, moose. You want to see an all flavor recipe? I got one right here. Yes, I do, Bryson. And this one has the uh, black tea in it. This is the one I was talking about earlier, just basically almost making like a hot style tea, you know, like an orange pico using a blood orange, you know, black tea, a little bit of lemon tea, the milk and honey gives it a little bit of sweetness and the blood orange. I mean, pretty simple. 3.75% flavors, super low. Hold on. How much are, wait, I wanted to see, you're using blood orange at 1%. Yeah. How, how strong is that blood orange? Not at all. It's not? No. Okay. I mean, I, I can taste it, but I can't really... It's not overpowering it whatsoever. Okay, good. Let me some of this. Talk about the magic that just happened. Someone walked into Tam's room and she just went, no. No <laughs> <laughs> way. <laughs> that, that was, can we, can we just talk about the sorcery that just happened? But I didn't even say no. I just put my finger back. And it, <laughs> it just happened. He knew right away. Walk out. I, I could really use that. You know, Harry Potter <laughs> trick of yours. You got to learn. So. Ridiculoso. <laughs> it's this finger right here. Got I just went like that, and it just happens. Like today, I said I need shelves, works. and that worked. And it, and guess what? I got shelves on the wall. Keep that up. It's working out for you. You know, yeah, I don't know if that blood orange needs to steep out a little bit because I'm not tasting the orange at all in this mix at one percent. Oh, okay. Wait, and let me think. I'm almost getting a chocolate, like a back chocolate note. I don't know if it's coming from the milk and honey or what. Oh, it's it milk and honey. That cocoa or coca mm -hmm. note or whatever the fuck they put in there. <laughs> it's got to be what it is because not mad. I'm just saying. It's informed. No, it's not bad, but it's it's not. <laughs> it was odd though. It's not. Was, no. Okay. No. Another one I got to put on my list. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't get it though, Frank. You should be able to. You should be able to. Oh, but it's the only. 
but you have lemon tea in there. Eh, I don't know. You should be able to get some of that blood orange. It's pretty prominent, right? I mean, you, you'll, you'll get it. Yeah, and that's it, what I was going it for. It deepens, like the flavor deepens. It's not quite as crisp, mm -hmm. but you should get it. Maybe you just need to add like another um, citrus booster in there. 3%. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop sharing that. I like that one, too. I like that. It, but that, would, that would help kind of get that like base orange taste. What was that? What was that, my pet? On top of it. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe, yeah. It might help that orange come out a little bit. Yeah, let me um let me toss up my last one here. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that hour went fast. Holy shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> went fast. You're having fun. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh where is it? Uh, uh, Shindo says he hates honeybee and blackberry blossom. They both taste cheesy to him for some reason. Really? Oh my god, I like honeybee. Oh, I love honeybee. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just having technical issues here. Uh, but just in that mix, I like it. I don't know. Yeah. In that tea, there we go. I was saying to, to Mary Beth, I don't know what else I would use it in. I'm surprised. I really like it. Um, but I think I loved it. I actually love it. I think it's just perfect for this application. So this is this was a turn. This is based on Stix Mix Turner's tea. Now, mm -hmm. Stix Mix naturally extracted teas. And they're some of the most beautiful teas and coffees I've had. I yes. really they're just lovely. And this Turner's tea could be all by itself. So all I did was oh, bring yeah. out bring out some of the notes. You don't need what I did, but I just decided to do it um mm -hmm. so i just used some elderflower um i've been playing around with it and i kind of wanted to use it in an application like this so it just gives you a little bit of a um middle range note so it helps to bring some of the green vegetable vegetal and the rose notes kind of together and kind of work honeybee is just the sweetener i wanted the honey i wanted the floral notes and it just brings out the, the sweetness of the honeybee, in my opinion, brings out some of the, the, um, the cherry that I get in here. Uh, honeysuckle, I just love honeysuckle, so too bad I put it in. <laughs> sugar, sugar orchid is sort of interesting um, as like a, a flavor. It's, um, I, it's not, doesn't necessarily have a flavor per se. It's sort of like a, um, I would just say a, a, almost like a light floral sweet sweetness to it, like um, almost like a almost like a powder, but not. And I can't quite put my finger on it. It's like one of those things you just kind of have to give a try to, um, and worked well in here. It just really made the rose note pop, in my opinion, and a little bit of um, flavorous sweetness because I just wanted this to be a real sweet tea, and hmm. it's really it's really good. If you like florals, then this is for you. If you don't like florals, don't know. Just, just, <laughs> just mix the Turner's tea a little bit of sweetness and call it a day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because it's a green tea. Um, it's based on a Japanese uh, green tea that they use. Apparently, I don't know the the type of green tea, but um, it's very good. Yeah. Awesome. So we kind of went through a nice bunch of teas, kind of did some, you know, old school black tea, you know, fruit teas. We did a, I posted up a chai tea for people that are kind of going down that pathway. We did a little green tea. We did some florals. So kind of a nice uh, smattering of teas. Yeah, Sub Babes had a question for you on Mary Beth. Madagascar vanilla for Flavor or Flavor West? I'm trying to um, I have yeah. um, Flavor Arts Madagascar vanilla. Um, you know, I don't know who I have, actually. I think it's Flavora. Um, yeah, there, I've, I just find it to be a, a little bit of a deeper vanilla. Like, you know how some vanillas are lighter and brighter and they kind of sit on top of a mix? Yeah. And others are kind of, you know, they'll kind of hit down low. And so I find that if you're looking for a deeper, darker vanilla, that might work. Teas do well with both fruit and desserty flavors. Yes, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yes, they do, Carl. Now, like what John Carl said about avocado in a mix adds a nice and chocolate mix adds a nice creaminess. Oh yeah, absolutely. I could see that, especially you know, with flavors. Either one, either um, either uh, what do you call it? Bake trains avocado or flavor. Probably flavors avocado probably be a better one to use for that. But 
the nice thing about using avocados is to think out, think outside of an avocado and think about what they all seem to commonly be doing is add a fattiness to your recipe. Yep. So if you want that fattiness in a recipe without adding butter or a banana or something that gets that mouthfeel, use, use an avocado. Yep. Yeah. Damn it, you hippies. You hippies. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Nikki, what's going on? Nikki. Shindo was saying everybody's, he's going to tell Concrete, everybody's loving on Dave's uh, long Long recipe. (laughs) It's a great great mix. I don't care what I love that mix. And I like Shindo's little, like, lime touch on it, too. That's a good one, too. Yeah, I do, too. And it's it's pretty, it's nice with the lime. Well, it's about that time, everybody. It was a fast hour this week. We had a really yeah. great show. Thank you, everybody that came out because I mean, this is for especially for a summer Sunday. This, I mean, you guys, you guys kicked ass. Mm-hmm. And the chat's been alive. A lot of people here. It was an awesome panel. You guys all knocked it out of the park with your recipes. Makes it makes it worth doing. Makes it, you know, makes me want to come back next week. Even though Mop is just gonna be hanging out with Daniel and Dawn and everybody at ECC. <laughs> I was gonna pop in every once in a while on, on live. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Bless your little heart. <laughs> there you go. Right, well, Mop, you can go first getting us out of here. All right, everybody, I'm Mop Ed. Uh, my channel is Mixing with Mop Ed. I do rest reviews and other DIY shenanigans. Um, I'm also on ELR and ATF as Mop Ed, and I'm on Instagram makes my mouth dead. All right. Oh, you are. Yes, I follow you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't post that often, but I don't know. I well, try. Another, well, the other guy that probably won't be here next week because he's going to be at ECC too. Alfredo, tell everyone where they can find you. You'll find me at the Vape Shack. Uh, it's where I hang out most of my time. Um, also, Instagram, A M P O N T E. Amp once eighty one. <laughs> it's easier to sh- pronounce and pronounce my name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I like to give a shout out to to Dory Liquid. Uh, that's what I've been vaping on this whole show. I've been pre mixing her stuff, and she knocks it out of the ballpark, man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Could not agree more. Season. And if you don't want to, you know, you want to do a little DIY, you want to do a little one shot action. Get them concentrates. And you get a good flavor and you get them concentrates. Absolutely. Cool beans. All right. That's about it for me. Thanks for having me on, Frank. It's been a Thank great Thank you, Alfredo, as always. Glad to be back. Oh, yeah. Definitely glad to have you back. Tammy, thank you once again for gracing oh, us with your presence. Oh, thank you. Kicking, I didn't work kicking people out of the room. <laughs> it didn't work that good this time. He's trying to bring me a sandwich. I'm like, I don't need a sandwich now. No. Well, hey, you, just, you must really have it going on. He's You got him making you a sandwich. Yes, oh, I do. Good. Nice. Your, your mere human tricks won't work here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody, so. can, tell everybody where they can find you, Tammy. I'm good. Just wait out there. Sandwich, sandwich, okay, sure? I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> he insists that I have look, it now. Oh, look, he's taking What's care up? of you, Tammy. Yeah, yeah. Sandwich guy, real oh, MVP. We like you. Bring him back. He loves it. If he could I make you one too, that'd be great. You know, I, you know what? I told him last night he didn't. I'm like, you don't know this, but you're on the show tomorrow. I told him. Because he was working on the sh- getting the shelves. I said, you're going to do a DIY on how to put shelves up. He said, oh, no, I'm not. I said, yeah, th- I've already told everybody. So, <laughs> Well, if he yeah. could do a DIY on how to make and deliver a sandwich, I would. <laughs> there you go. He's a good guy. He really is. He's a good guy. So anyway, I am. I don't know where I'm at. I'm here. <laughs> And I am on ELR, and all the flavors is Tam Vape. He brought me a back with a beer. (laughs) (laughs) He rocks. We love you, John. You rock. (laughs) All the flavors in ELR is Tam Vapes, like you see it on the screen. (laughs) And I hang out everywhere. (laughs) So 
shout out to all you guys. I was just telling Mary Beth that the vape people, it, we're all family and I love you all like family. I was just telling her that yesterday. I look yep. at all of you as family, even out in the chat. I like love everybody. So that's it. <laughs> well, well, thanks for spending your time with us today, Tammy. Oh, yeah. Appreciate You're it. welcome. Thank yeah. you for having me. Moose, unmute yourself. What do you want? Oh. Um, <laughs> mixing stuff, right. Okay. So you can find me as Odd Drop on ATF and ELR and here every Sunday doing moose things for money. So <laughs> things wish I don't make anything up. Um, <laughs> also, I forgot to mention, I went back to uh, Cosm. If anyone doesn't know who Alex Gray is, he is the guy that does the art or has done artwork for Tool. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. ah. Tool. Yeah, all that, all that crazy, spacey human body artwork that you see in Tool's artwork, that's all Alex Gray. Um, oh, wow. he, has, he, he had his house is called the Chapel of Sacred Mirrors, and it's like a big basically he turned his own house into an art gallery. No, oh, cool. So he has full full moon gatherings, and I used to live wow. like 15 minutes away from it and used to spin fire and perform there a lot. And I just returned there after like two or three years mm -hmm. of not being there uh, last night, so that was that was a lot of fun. And then, uh, cool. yeah. so you can find me on ATF ELR. Uh, sometimes in the shack and in various Facebook groups. Um, shout out to the sandwich and beer delivery guy. You're <laughs> really what makes the show. It's uh, awesome. And shout, the out to, <laughs> shout out to Shindo, the real MVP. Congratulations on your one shots, man. That's that's really yes, awesome. it's awesome, that's dude. Awesome. Keep it, yep. keep it up. I can do. And, and Moose, make sure you put it out there one more time in chat where people can donate to uh, help pockets his leg. Oh yeah, my cat yeah. is all sorts of fucked up. So if you want to help, <laughs> medical term. We we don't know how he did it, but if you want to help pay for his surgery, it, it's such a fitting name too. Our our daughter named him Pockets. Somehow, I guess she knew that this cat would be running our pockets. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's pets. Deep pockets, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So in the link, you'll see a GoFundMe for for that and stuff. So I think I'm, I'm the only one left. Blowing up the chat, you'll see the link. No, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm the only one left, so you can find me on uh, Instagram. All the flavors ELR as Mechmod RN. Um, I'm a admin with Tammy on DIY Down Under. Um, they just announced a new group called Tammy's Muted, but we just she, they, we just announced a new group for all things advocacy and vaping hardware called um, Deep Down Under. I think it is. Yeah, so Deep Down out. Under Vaping, I believe it yeah, is. Yeah, yep, Deep Down Under Vaping on. Uh, on Facebook. So that's another group for you folks to kind of put your coil porn artwork there and your hand checks and stuff like that. Um, keep an eye on your states. Stuff still keeps going and moving and shaking, you know, so keep your ear to the ground um, with what's going on with advocacy. It's always important. Follow people like SoCal and Jen Berger Coleman on Instagram. It's a quick and easy way to get quick and easy information that's going to be solid and good. Addie Tooney is another person. If you guys follow people on Instagram, it's a nice way to kind of keep up on things and get information quickly and easily. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and shout out to Shindo, man, that, that mint cookies cream. Dang, boy. Dang, 8%, 8%. I don't know what you got in there, but I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Frank. Thanks. Thank and you, thanks Mayor. everybody for coming out. It's always a pleasure. Yeah. I love, I love the audience. I love the questions. You guys are fantastic. Thank you for spending your time with us. Yes. All right. Left with me. Yeah. Keep an eye on your state. So uh, Massachusetts just went 21, which I really don't have an issue with that. A whole lot just but once they get in the door a little bit then that's when they just bust it open and try to run everything so you know double-edged sword there shout out to a dory liquid go get you some of that for consequence especially to concentrate you know was it 16 bucks 17 bucks and make 160 mils you can just throw your own vg and nick in there excellent one shot there uh yeah go check out shindo's uh one shots over at chefsflavors.u was it chefsflavors.co.uk something like that off the top of my head 
Uh, shout out to Giancarlo, Omegade Knee Liquid. Get that new, new, the Apache line, that cream to mint finish on there. Excellent. And look for more flavors coming very soon. And don't forget that Nightshade. Nightshade's still a newer flavor. It's excellent. That raspberry chocolate mousse. Oh, that stuff, that stuff was incredible. I got to order me some of that and get some of that Apache line myself. Uh, that's about it for me. You can find me here. Find me over on all the flavors. Daytime Frank won for some reason. I think I may have actually made two accounts. Uh, Daytime Frank on Instagram, on on what you call it, on ELR, all that good stuff. And Tinder. Yeah, Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Horn up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, JFM, you'll have to catch the replay, brother. Uh, Thanks for yep. popping in. Yes, thank you, everybody. You know, in the panel, the chat. I mean, great show today. Something really well needed. It's been, it's been a rough two weeks, but. You know, thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, next week, we'll, you know, during the week, we'll find out what, um, you know, what our topic is going to be. <laughs> Not sure yet, but we're going to come up with something good. Shindo's on my space. <laughs> 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 <Is that cool? laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Let's get the heck out of here. All right. Well, bye. 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 <laughs>